Today we have celebrity trainer and Wonder Bar Pilates creator, Amy Jordan. Get ready to try Pilates from the inside out. All right guys, let's Pilates from the inside out. We're gonna step to the back side of our mat with our feet four inches apart and all 10 toes shining straight forward. Arms float up above the head and we're gonna nod the chin, rounding the upper back just like a candy cane, lifting from under your ribs. One hand comes to the floor, we're gonna step out with four steps. One, two, three, four, come into your best plank. Shoulders are over the wrists and we have a nice heel lift and reaching long from the crown of the head. We're holding here for a little isometric challenge to start Ooh. the workout today. <laughs> yeah. We wanna make sure that we're not getting our booty up in the air or hanging our hips down towards the floor. We wanna hold nice in our best diagonal line from the crown of the head through our heels. We're gonna be here just a little bit longer. Think about lifting out of your wrists and drawing your ribs close to your spine rather than hanging into your shirt or towards the floor. In 10 Ooh. more seconds, we're gonna shift back into a downward dog and go into our Wunda Besk which is our little twist on the arabesque <laughs> exercise you do on a reformer. All right, guys, three seconds left. Feeling the burn All here. All right, and let's shift back. Sits bones go wide as we lengthen the heels towards the floor, shift the shoulders back, and we're gonna hold that left leg where it is, but we're gonna give a nice deep knee bend and extend that right leg long behind you at a diagonal. Look at the hips, make sure they're level rather than opening out, and we're gonna trace a circle with that right leg. Now I don't want you thinking about the toes. We want to move from the femur head. That's the thigh bone and it's in the dome of the pelvis. You can kind of think about it like a guacamole masher. <laughs> As California girls, we love our guacamole. Yeah, we do. And it's moving right through there, lubricating that joint as we tone and elongate the tush and elongate the leg. From here, guys, we're going to hold it parallel. Imagine that inner thigh spiraling up to the sky and we're gonna crease right under your tush. That's your glam line, right where your glutes and your hamstrings meet. We're gonna deepen that crease. Don't think about how far the foot goes up. Think about just deepening that crease. Good, beautiful. Mm. Get that leg up a little bit higher, Jesse, if you can. Open the front side of that hip, good. <laughs> we have three more here, and we're gonna step into a lunge with that right leg. Last two, and sweep that right foot forward, stepping into your lunge. Both knees are bent. And take a little check before you move. That right knee should be in front of your ankle, aligned with big toe, second toe. Arms come up, we're going lunge, plie, repeat. We're gonna lift the arms up overhead, lower through the middle into your plie. That means your torso is upright, not dipping forward. Mm. And then we come up and over and go into a lunge on the left. Inhale to rise, using your core to lift you. Exhale, sits bones broaden. Inhale, lifting up and over. One more time through either side. Inhale to lift, shoulder blades melt down, torso stays long, knees aligned, big toe, second toe. Inhale up, exhale, hold it down. Hold here, you guys. We're gonna bring the arms into a circle and via that left inner thigh, think about it peeling your heel up off the floor and firmly press that heel back down. Notice that our height didn't change and oh, yeah. we're just working <laughs> through the back side of that left leg. The right waistline is stabilizing, navels are drawn up and in. We're gonna do two more of these heel raises. Pick Shaking. that heel up, hold. Hold that heel up. If it's aggressive, put that left heel down like Jesse's showing us. And we're gonna inhale, spiraling to the left. Now, I don't care how far you rotate, but we wanna make sure that we don't shift our torso either direction. We wanna keep our spine aligned. And I like to think about moving my rib cage actually around my spine. Ooh, I like so that we're really thought. spiraling through that rib cage, keeping the hips quiet. Last one, we're gonna go back into a plie in the middle. Inhale to rotate, exhale, bring it back. Left heel goes down, arms come up. Back into your plie in the middle. We're having fun already, yes, Anna? <laughs> From here, Burns. we're gonna go into heel raises. You can turn the palms up, change the angle of the work through the muscles, and firmly press the heels down. We're doing it via the inner thigh spiraling up to the sky and firmly imprinting down, down to the ground. Now, Jessie's showing us a modification here. She's doing one heel at a time. If it's a challenge for your balance, you can always do that. We're gonna hold the next one up. Heels are lifted, and we're gonna broaden our sits bones to lower and narrow our sits bones to lift. Those are the bones you literally sit on. Those are broadening on the way down like a diamond and narrowing on the way up. Just a few more here. We're gonna finish with some butterflies. Awesome. Yes. yes. <laughs> and we're gonna hold the next one down, hold it low. Those sits bones are broad. Think about the inner thigh spiraling back behind you. Notice that my torso isn't moving, the pelvis is quiet, and we're not moving from the knees. Really think about those inner thighs spiraling back, and that's gonna get you the most intense and Ooh. effective results through the back side of your tushy. Yes, feeling it? Yeah, Good. my legs are like shaking. And next one, we're gonna bring the legs back, 
Heels come down, let's go to the right. Finish off those circles to the right. Exhale as you lower down, arms come into a circle. We're gonna peel the heel up via the inner thigh and firmly press it down. When your heel comes up, make sure we're not in those pinky toes. We wanna to make sure that we are in all 10 toes. So we don't wanna roll out onto the pinky toe. You feel that difference? Yeah. That really helps you access the inner line of the body through the pelvic floor and the waistline. Hold the next one up. Sink the right hip to the floor like it is weighted with a sandbag. And now we're gonna rotate to the right through the torso. Keeping the torso upright, inhale as you rotate, adding space between the vertebra. Exhale back to center. Inhale as we rotate. Exhale back to center. We have wound basque nest on the other side. Inhale as you rotate. One side's a little tighter for me yeah, too. Yeah, absolutely. You'll <laughs> definitely notice that it's not symmetrical, right? Yeah. Inhale last time. Exhale, bring it back. Heel goes down, and we're gonna step back to the back side of the mat. Good. All right, feet are four <laughs> inches apart. Let's do that wound basque other side. Arms come up to the side. We're gonna nod the chin, rolling down. Try not to let your toes shift back. One hand, two hand, three and four. Sink back immediately into that down dog. Bend both knees, and this time we're gonna keep the right leg where it is. Left leg reaches up at a diagonal. Shift out of the wrist, collarbones wide. And we're gonna start with a little lift this time. I like to do it opposite on the other side. Oh. Keeps our muscles guessing. <laughs> Keeps things more interesting. Good, good. So we're deepening that glam line, inner thigh spiraling to the sky. And reach your right sits bone. So now we know where that is, right? It's right in your tushy. And we're gonna reach it towards your left heel. Do you feel that elongate through the waistline yeah. on the right side? Good, hold the next one up. And we're gonna go into our little circles. So we got that guacamole happening again through the hip. <laughs> Open up the left side, the front side of the left hip. Good. So much control. Indeed. It's like so, <laughs> so much harder. This is to quiet. Do. We're gonna go into three more circles and then we're gonna go into a roll up. Last two. And bring both knees down. Beautiful job, you guys. Oh. All right, let's sweep our legs in front of us and we're gonna lay all the way down with our arms alongside our head. For a modification, Jess is gonna show us with our knees bent, more challenges with your legs long. So we have our arms alongside our head. Think about gear wheels on your ears turning, and that lifts the head. Then we turn to think about gear wheels at the shoulders, gear wheels at the ribs, and keeping it long, lengthening all the way up, and sit tall on those sits bones at the top. Lean two inches with a flat back hold, then we turn the gear wheels of the pelvis, gear wheels of the low back, gear wheels of the mid back, gear wheels of the upper back and roll down. So we don't want to only just slump into that curl or really shorten on the way up. We want to think about curling up with length as we rise all the way up at the top. And I like that flat back lean here like this. It gets you out of the hip flexors on the front side of the legs and gets you deep into the abdominals. Do you girls feel that happening? Yes. Otherwise you feel really grippy on the front side of the hips, right? So good to control it, not use momentum. <laughs> Think about those gear wheels. We're gonna do a hold on the way down this next one. So gear wheels, turn, turn, turn. Keep length on the front body as you rise all the way up. Sit tall on those sit bones, as tall as you can. Lean back two inches. Give me a curl through the tailbone and the low back and the mid back hold. It's fun already. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> now we're gonna bring the arms into a circle. We're gonna open towards the right. Hips don't move. Bring it back to center. Ooh. Arms come alongside the head. Ooh, Lordy. Oh. <laughs> we bring it back to worst. center. And we spiral to the left. So you feel that rib cage happening again, right? Yeah. So we've got the rib cage happening. Think about your shoulder blades melting down your back. Arms come down. And I like the soft bend to the elbows because it keeps my shoulders from creeping up around my ears. Great It point. allows that slide of the shoulder blades. Inhale. Last one, we're gonna go up. Keep those arms up, ready, ready, ready. Slowly lower down, oh my gosh! Ah! <laughs> oh, <laughs> and my down. Good, all right, let's come on up into our wounded twist. So we're gonna flip over, hands come onto the mat, and we're gonna bring our left foot in front of our right, and hips shine towards the front, and shoulders shine towards the side. We're gonna shift our weight back and spiral the pelvis, magnetize the outer thighs, hips shine down to the floor. So it's kind of like a corkscrew movement. We exhale here, hips come forward. Inhale, spiral up and back. Feel those sits bones broaden. And then feel the pelvis narrow, the sits bones narrow on the way down. Do you feel that happening? Yes. Good, so that's really deep abdominals, deep core work happening. 
rather than just thinking about the obliques on the sideline only, I want the entire abdomen, the entire core working. Hold the next one down to the side, hips to the side, shoulders are forward. Lift out of the wrist for me, broaden the collarbones, and we're gonna do a miniature spiral pike. Oh lordy, up and back, mm -hmm. and bring it back to start. Miniature pyro, spiral oh. and pike, and bring it back, good. Bye bye, so wedding cake. Really yes, feel yeah. that? You really feel your body weight <laughs> yes. in this one. <laughs> what body weight? What, what are you oh talking my about? Goodness. Narrow the outer thighs, guys. Really think about magnetizing those outer thighs. We're going to go on our back in one more and bring the knees down. Gorgeous, wow. you guys. All right, let's come onto our back. We're going to go into a bridge with a single leg challenge. So, Jess is going to show us two feet down. Anna and I are going to try it. Ooh. One leg at a time. Arms Bridge. imprint into the floor. And we're gonna yawn open the front side of the hips as you reach the kneecaps long, long, long and come into your best bridge. Now make sure you're not arching through here. We wanna keep length on all sides of the body and the ribs hugging the spine. Imprint the arms into the floor. Jess, you keep both feet down and Anna and I are gonna reach that right leg long. Knees are glued together. Melt from behind your heart, elongating your spine. I like to think of a conveyor belt as I slowly roll down, did you forget about the arms? Imprint the arms, keep them active. Come to that neutral pelvis where you have a natural curve in the spine. Lengthen up, we have two more just like that. Keeping the hips level, you can even pick up your head and take a glance at your hips to make sure that we haven't tipped to one side or the other. Last time, lengthen so through the torso. It's so hard for me to keep my knees together. I know, <laughs> that's half the it's challenge. Like that's low belly, Ooh, inner thighs, thigh. pelvic floor. Oh. Elongate the spine. Both feet down, wow. left leg, let's go. Imprint the arms, glued knees are glued together. Lift up into your best bridge here. Check those hips and we're gonna melt from behind the heart. Notice that the booty doesn't drop first. We wanna start from the top portion of the core. Rolling down, really getting deep abdominal connection. Neutral pelvis, lift, lift, lift up into your best bridge. Magnetize those outer thighs, lengthening down. You can also think of it like a string of pearls slowly being laid down. I like to think of the spaces between my vertebra rather than the bones themselves as I lower down. Lengthen, lengthen, last one. I'm gonna do wound to twist the other way. All right, both feet down, excellent. Okay, come on up. Wow. And go to the other side of the mat. Sexy legs coming at you. <laughs> right foot comes in front of the left. We're starting with our hips shining forward, shoulders, facing the opposite direction, and we're gonna go up into that cor corkscrew, magnetizing the outer thighs, hips shine to the floor. Do you see how the weight pulls out of the shoulders rather than crowding your ears? So we're lengthening back, strong arms lifting out of the wrists. Magnetize the outer thighs. I like to think about my right inner thigh spiraling forward, the left inner thigh spirals back. Can you girls feel that as you come up? So we shift the pelvis, Lengthening all sides of the waistline on the way up and down. Yeah, I feel every muscle in my core get worked here on this <laughs> head one. Head to toe. Every single one. The scalpel one. is for the surgeon, my friends. Ooh, Pilates yeah. works you head to toe the whole time. Yeah. Yes. Hold the hips shining forward. Collarbones are wide. Miniature up and back. Oh, good stuff right there. Miniature swivel. Little pike, little rotation. Do you keep your gaze towards the floor on this one? You know, you always want to keep your head in line with your spine. Okay. So it kind of depends on where it feels great for your neck. Okay. But yeah, we definitely want your head in line with your spine. We're going to go into our crisscross next on our back. Woo! Last two. And last one. Bring the knees down. Good. All right, let's come on our back. Is that a wound bar special? That, that is a wound bar I special. Love it it love is. It. All right, guys, we're going to elongate the body down again. Now don't think you know what this is just because you've done a bicycle crunch before. So bring the hands behind the base of your skull, interlace your fingers to literally hammock the weight of your head. We're gonna keep a neutral spine, that means a natural lumbar curve and your hips shining straight up to the sky. The left leg bends into a 90 degree angle. We're gonna peel the head, neck and shoulders up off the floor. And then the right leg reaches out at a diagonal. Spiral the right inner, uh, the right rib towards the left inner thigh, and then we're gonna switch legs and switch sides. We rotate left ribs towards the right inner thigh. So you can kind of do this at your own pace. That rotation 
extending. But notice that it's not about the elbow tapping the knee. No. Do you see how much length we keep on the front body? Length through the waistlines. We're not crunching and shortening. We're elongating and conditioning and toning through oh. the abdomen. It's so hard oh. to keep the shoulder blades up. It <laughs> is, that's the trick, right? Yeah. Good. Keeping the pelvis quiet. I like to think about my leg that's reaching long as it's reaching into a really tight pair of leggings. We want the femur Ooh. to slide in as the toes reach out. We're gonna do a four point kneel in just a few more here. Let's pick up the pace, ladies. We're rotating here, rotating here, switching sides, pelvis is quiet. Last three, last two, last one, and bring it down. Oh. All right, let's flip it over. Going into that four point kneeling. Let's just do that. Way to go. Let's yeah, do it, go. shall we? <laughs> we got this. Yeah, girl. All <laughs> right. <laughs> Hands come wide on the mat. Spread those fingers wide. Knees are four inches apart directly below those hips. We're going to start with our right leg. And what I'd like you to focus on is keeping that big toe down as you sweep, sweep, sweep that leg back. That toe stays down, 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 down until it's fully extended and you can feel the upper fibers of the hamstring right below your tush. Now we're going to float that leg up, inner thigh spirals to the sky. And I promise you, bring it a little more into the midline of your body and you'll feel that inner thigh fire right up. I feel it. Good. Mm -hmm. Jesse's gonna keep both hands down, but for additional balance challenge and core challenge, take that left arm long before your body. Holding here, you can glance at your hips if you want to, making sure they're level. And we're gonna plug that shoulder and that leg in, or that arm into the shoulder, leg into the hip as we inhale, and we're opening into a diagonal. So it's like we're making one line of an X, yeah? Yeah. Good, so do you feel the back line working hard, the core oh, yeah. working really hard? <laughs> yeah, Lifting hard out of that <laughs> right wrist, yeah, exactly. Because we don't want to sink into that left hip. We want to lift out of that left knee, ribs close to your spine, and you're looking down at your mat to keep the back side of your neck long. Mm -hmm. The temptation is to look up. We always want to see the, the world in front of us, <laughs> but try to look down. Doesn't that feel better on the back line of the yeah. body? Yeah. Good, guys, just a few more here. This is taking a bird dog to the next level. Indeed. <laughs> and bring both sides down, beautiful. Ooh. We're gonna go into our invisible jump board here. So if you've never tried jump board, this is how we're gonna do it at home. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is walk your knees back into a four point distance, if you got them out of that, out of that uh, alignment. And we're gonna crouch down, but we're not gonna touch our booty onto our heels, we're gonna hover. And we're gonna inhale with enthusiasm, jump up. Exhale, creasing down. So we're really narrowing the sit bones again, broadening, inhaling to rise. The temptation is gonna to be to heave with an exhale. Oof, that's not what we want. I want you lifting from under your seat with an inhale, and we're gonna add some arm circles if you're feeling fancy. Inhale, up and around. Exhale as you lower back to start. That inhale, is fancy. So fancy. Exhale, so you can choose to stay where we started with the arms coming just in front of you, or you can get some nice lubrication through those shoulder joints and some functionality through the shoulder blades. We're gonna do just a few more here. Lift through the core. Can you guys feel that happening through the Absolutely. abdomen? You know, someone's Never watching really. online. It looks like it's just lifting through the legs and the quads. No, 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 the whole <laughs> body's working. Inhale to lift, last two. Exhale to crouch, inhale to lift. And last one. Good, bring it in four point kneel other side. Ooh. All right, so we have our hands below the shoulders. Check your knees are four inches right below the hips. This time we are going to take the left toe, left big toe reaches back, 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 back. Yawn open the front side of the hip. Check that your hips are level and we're gonna elongate that right leg back. Good, so we're gonna do it where the right arm now reaches and we can go out and in. Think about that left inner thigh spiraling to the sky the whole time. If the balance challenge doesn't work for you on this side, keep the hand down. Not every side of our body is symmetrical. Mm. We'll do what works for you on either side. Honor what's going on with your body today. And it's such a small movement. You don't have to really go too far. That's exactly right. It's not about how far it goes. It's about how effective and efficient the work is. And it's about moving from the core. Can you feel how the core is controlling yeah. that in a diagonal? Yeah. yeah. Last two. And last one, bring both sides down. All right, we're gonna finish with the little side plank series here. The right forearm comes down. 
Jess is gonna show us a modification with her right knee down. You can also choose to have your right foot in front of your left like Anna's gonna show us, or we can have your feet stacked for an advanced variation. So we're down, we have our elbow right below the shoulder, left arm reaches to the sky or stays on your hip, whatever works best for you. We're gonna float that left leg up four times. We're gonna keep the pelvis quiet as the leg spirals forward and bring it back. So the torso doesn't move, the pelvis doesn't move. We're moving from that guacamole masher again, yeah? <laughs> I'm hungry, anyone I'm else? So hungry. I know you're Inhale to bring it forward, exhale back. Hold the next one up. All right, now we're gonna turn the doorknob. You see what's <gasps> happening here? Oh my God, I'm shaking. I'm shaking So we're too. lengthening and spiraling. Do you see how the pelvis doesn't move? But we're turning the doorknob of that left leg through the joint, lubricating the joint, toning. We're going all the way internal. We're rotating back and we're rotating up. Bring it parallel and bring it back to start. Good. Oh, I'm gonna drop it. <laughs> you made it, you made it. And I made it. We're gonna Bye. come up into a squat with gait, continuing to improve the joint functionality while we're also toning and lengthening. So we have our knees and toes glued together. We can keep our hands on our hips or bring them up for more challenge. We're gonna crease at the hips. So we started with the plie, keeping our torso upright. Now we're actually creasing at the front side of the hips, magnetize the outer thighs, and knees come in front of your ankles. That allows for proper bone rhythms. We're gonna peel that right heel up. See the front side of the ankle opening, and firmly press it down. Peeling it up on the left side, and firmly pressing it down. Magnetize the outer thighs. Once you get the hang of that, you can start to pick up the pace a little bit and change halfway through. So your heels pass in midair. Do you feel that? The ankle joint oh, being oh, lubricated, yeah. the knees happening, we're spiraling the femur bones. You can bring the arms alongside the head if you'd like more challenge. Pelvis is quiet, so we don't want any belly dancing. We don't want to right. do this. Magnetize the outer thighs, stick your booty out a little bit. There's another four letter word in my world and that is tuck. Yeah. So we're gonna avoid that lengthening through all sides of the spine. We're gonna hold the heels halfway up. You can keep your arms at your sides, you can bring them long wherever you like. And we're gonna lower down and lift. Broaden the sits bones and lift. So it's not a push through the knees or the balls of the feet, right? It's a lift from the core and the sits bones. Arms are long. Last three, I'm gonna do that side bridge, other side. You can do this. <laughs> Last two. Hold it low with intention, heels go down. Inhale and rise up. All right, side I'm plank, ready? I'm gonna that one for a while. Okay. <laughs> you too. Come on down, we're gonna have our left forearm down. Last thing and then we stretch, I promise. So you can put your left foot in front of your right, you can have your left knee down, or you can stack your feet for more challenge. Right arm comes up or stays on your hip. We're going to bring that right leg up, sweep it forward four times, and bring it back. Pelvis is quiet the whole time. Lift out of that left elbow. We're gonna do that doorknob next. We're almost there, guys. <laughs> Hold the leg forward. Doorknob. Hello. <laughs> doorknob. Go away. Open. <laughs> so we're spiraling forward and spiraling back. Notice I didn't talk about the toes or the foot at all. I want that movement coming from the top of the leg, from the femur bone, mm. swiveling through. It's a ball and socket joint. Can you lift out of that left hip? Try not to hang in it. Last two. And bring that leg down. Oh. Good, you guys. Let's finish with a little roll down and a flat back and we'll be on our way. Okay, so let's come on up kind of how we were for that squat. We're gonna have our feet four inches apart, arms float up to the sky, nod the chin, just like we started today, round the upper back. Think about lifting from under the ribs and keeping your booty over your heels rather than shifting back. Hands come to the floor or your shins. We're gonna press all of our hands onto our shins, rolling up stacking the spaces between the vertebra. Stop when you're in an L shape, and we're gonna unfurl. So we're gonna hold an L shape here. You can keep your hands here for support. You can bring your arms like this in front of you or all the way out for more challenge and go into a fascial floss. So fascia is the network of fibers and tissues that holds everything together. It holds your skin, your bones, your muscles together. If your fascia is tight, but your hamstrings are nice and supple, you won't feel the nice link through the hamstrings. Ugh. So we wanna really focus on the fascia and not just the muscle stretch. Do you see that my hips aren't moving and my heels are not lifting? We're just doing a little micro bend on either leg. Stick your booty out, lengthen the tailbone from the crown of the head. Both legs come straight. 
Bring your hands back to your shins. One last roll up. Imprinting your hands on the front body with intention. Stacking the spaces between the vertebrae as you rise. Arms float up to the sky. Navel draws up and in. With intention, imprint the arms at your sides and keep that posture all day long. Beautiful work, oh you guys. Oh my goodness. That was like the most amazing you did it. workout. Nice. Beautiful job. <laughs> so fun.